Hello and welcome to another device app world review. Today we're going to be looking at Feedly, which is a RSS reader for Android. So let's get into it. So Feedly is a um, pretty nice looking uh, way that you can read your RSS feeds. Um, it's got a really nice interface, so um, it's all about swiping. So you swipe left to move. Uh, between your your stories, um, swiping up makes pages marked as unread, and swiping down marks them as read. Um, so you get your initial feed with your first story on there. Um, scrolling right will get you to the other stories from that same feed. If you keep keep scrolling, you'll get to your next um, feed there. So it's a design. And I have all the design stories. If I keep going across, I'll just slowly be able to work through all my feeds. Um, I haven't signed into anything yet, so these are just the um, feeds that come standard or default with the app. So if I click on one of these feeds, sorry, if I click on one of these stories, it opens up um, the text, and you can read it there. Loads of images as well. Um, quite nice, it means you don't have to open a browser, everything's right there for you. Um, and close out, swipe across, if I open another story, close that text again, and if I want to stay in this mode and just read through all my all, all my stories, I can do that by swiping right, it'll take me to the next one, and so on, and I can go back by pressing the X at the top right there. So what I really like about this app um, and why I'm reviewing it today is because it has really good um, interfacing with a Google Reader which is the primary RSS feed that I read. So you can actually sign into your Google Reader account and it'll load in all your um, feeds that you've got already set up there. So you can see I've got um, a feed for Engadget um, and it's loaded up the story for that. You can scroll through and I've got you know Android Community, which is another great um, RSS feed. Scroll through that. Um, clicking on the top left here will take you to your home, and you can um, scroll through. These are all the feeds I have here, and then you can also see all the um, suggested ones that they get here, which are actually pretty cool. Um, a lot of these I follow anyway, but um, if you get bored, these are pretty good to check out. So there's plenty of options. Um, you can go into your feeds from here as well. Um, scroll through them. You jump to your next feed once you get to the end. Um, it, it doesn't really load. Um, it loads about eight to twelve feeds, a, a story for each feed, depending on what you're doing. Um, you know, the other thing I really like about this app is it has really good um, integration with Twitter. Um, so whenever I read something in um, Google Reader, and I like to I like to share it if it's cool. So um, what I can do here is tweet. Um, you'll notice it says no connection to Twitter. So I try tweet and it won't let me. So what I need to do is set up um, my connection with Twitter there. Um, so now you can see I'm logged in uh, with my Twitter feed. So I can hit tweet, and then I'll send my, um, my my tweet off there, which is pretty cool. Um, you can also um, save a story if you want to read it later, or you can like it as well. So that's uh, Feedly. Um, you have some more options up here as well um, in your preferences. Um, you can choose to restart. Um, you can choose the theme, light or dark. Um, check text size and some other stuff um, around tweeting and link shortening. Um, and there's also a, a widget. Which I'll just show you right now. So I don't have any categories, so I can't do that. So that's Feedly. Um, hope you've enjoyed our review today. Um, be sure to check it out on the Android market and uh, subscribe to our channel. Cheers.